Hello, Tim Cray here with Extra Power Wash in Portland, Oregon. You have to pardon my squinting today. Uh, sun's out for the first time in about two weeks out here in the Pacific Northwest. It rains a lot this time of the year, so um, hope everybody's off to a great start for the new year. Um, I just wanted to talk about something real quick, and uh, the whole purpose of this channel is to help people. I don't charge anything. I don't proclaim to be something that I'm not. This is just raw uh, advice for anybody that wants it. If you don't, you don't have to watch the video. Um, but it's something that I kind of learn as I go along and just kind of wanted to pass it along to anybody else that it might be helpful to. So, uh, what I want to talk about today is profit. Um, that's the whole reason that we're in business. That was the whole reason why we started the business is we wanted freedom. Uh, we wanted to be our own boss. We wanted to set our own schedules we wanted to be able to take our families and do stuff, go on vacation, and just have the freedom. But a lot of times it doesn't turn out that way. Uh, it, we, we, we become a slave to our business. Uh, the business tends to run us. Um, we're constantly hustling to, to cover another bill or to keep money in the, the business account. There's uh, just numerous things that, that, we, that we fight as far as... Uh, things that we do that are that are counterproductive against ourselves. Uh, so what I want to talk about, of course, is, is profit. So how do you how do you make your business profitable? And uh, what I'm going to talk about today is kind of a simple concept. And uh, it's not new to me or you know, it's not, you know, I didn't come up with this. Um, but I started reading a book and I haven't finished it yet. But uh, profit first and it just kind of got me thinking. There's a lot of guys out there that they take, uh, you know, sales minus expenses equals profit. Uh, that's not necessarily, I mean, that that's how we have done accounting for years and years and years. Uh, but think about that. That lets our expense line just kind of run out of, run out of control with, with really no boundaries as far as uh, what we can spend in our business. Um, that expense line could be several different things. It could be expenses that we really didn't need or, or things that we wanted. It could even be these, you know, these fancy fin print shirts and I love them, but, but I'll tell you that, uh, in the beginning, you probably don't need them. Uh, I got a bunch of shirts just to outfit myself. You know, I'm a single sole proprietor, single operator, uh, business. And I spent about $500 on these, on these fin print shirts. And like I said, they're great. I love them. Um, when I bought them, I probably didn't need to buy them as early on as I, as I bought them. Um, I would definitely highly recommend them to, to anybody that, that wants them. But again, we could call that an expense. Uh, could I had gotten by in the business without spending that five or $600 on shirts? Sure. But what we do is we, you know, we take our sales and, uh, we subtract our expenses out of there and expenses is a, a wide variety of, of items such as shirts or the, the fanciest water fed pole or the, the biggest piece of equipment or, you know, the best trailer, you name it. We can put all kinds of stuff in the expense line, but it wasn't necessary, uh, to, to, uh, conduct business. Now I'll tell you, there are some things that are necessary last year. I had uh, an account that was 879 solar panels. I, I needed some equipment for that. Um, I needed uh, some some water purification. I needed some odd and end items to run my, my water fed pool system. So them are all realistic expenses and, and I get that. Uh, but like the example I gave you is is a shirt. You know, you can go on Queensboro or, or go down to your local Walmart and buy some polyester shirts, take it to your local printer, have them print your, your logo on it and you're good to go. Uh, hats, um, probably at first you don't need hats with your, with your logo on it and that, that costs whatever they, they cost. Um, you can get by with, with something else. So, uh, and how you're going to do that, let's get back to the profit. I kind of went off on a, on a tangent there talking about different items that you don't need and items that you do need. Um, so if anybody hasn't read the book, start reading it. I am over halfway into it and it's a really fascinating read. But what he talks about in his book is taking your profit first. So what you do is you create like a separate account for 
um, the amount of money that you're going to pay yourself or profit, or you can combine it and then just take that out. Uh, so whatever that may be, um, I want to pay myself this year 35%. So what if, say, let's say $1,000, we'll use a $1,000 example. And I want to, my salary is going to be 35%. Um, 35% of a thousand, obviously we'll use thousand because it's a nice, easy number. It's 350 bucks. So then you take the 350 out and you move it over to another account. And then that leaves you with what? Six, 650. Um, so then you got to take out taxes. So that's going to drop you down. You, you take another 350, 35% out for that. That's going to leave you with about 300 bucks. And that's your, that's your operating income, your operating money that you have to, to fund your business. So you take a thousand dollars and you break it down. Realistically, if you want to be profitable, if you want to make money in this business and everybody's percentage is going to be different, that thousand bucks is actually 300 bucks. And a lot of new people, when they get into this business, they just see that thousand dollar check or, you know, the direct deposit and you're going to go out and you're going to buy this. You're going to buy that. Oh, wow. You got a truck payment or you got your CRM. That's, that's uh way expensive or you're, you're paying for a website on a monthly fee or whatever it may be. All that stuff's going to, to come out of your account. If there's auto charges or, or things that you, that you've signed up for to run your business, all that stuff catches up. So like I said, a thousand bucks is 300 bucks. So it's just, this is just a simple way to, to think about it. But if you would have left that 350 bucks in your account, you may have found something else to buy or you needed this or you needed that. And then you're left with zero. You covered your expenses and you keep telling yourself, you're just going to keep on investing, investing, investing. You're going to get a bigger job and something else is going to come and you haven't paid yourself a dime. Um, this is a, this is a bad cycle. If you get into that cycle, and continue on like that, it's just going to get worse. It's not going to be passing up a $350 payday. It's, uh, it's going to grow and it's going to continue to grow. And you're going to run a business that, that, well, you're not really running it. You're, you're going to exist in a business that runs you. Uh, you're constantly chasing the expenses of the business because you've let the business go out of control. Um, so I'll tell you, I've kind of went off on a little tangent here, but uh, I'll tell you this year, one of my personal goals is going to be taking my profit out of the business. I'm going to set that aside and the business is going to operate. I'm going to give it boundaries to, to operate off of. Uh, in the book, Profit First, think about a, uh, a plate size. If you have a bigger plate, you're going to put more on the plate and you're going to consume more. Um, it's kind of like your, your operating expense budget for your business. If you, if you have more money in there, you're going to consume that money. It's just human instinct. That's how we think. Uh, when we see a, a chunk of something, and I'm sure there is very, very, very few out there. And if you're one of them and you're listening to the video, I commend you for denying human nature. But you know, the bigger a plate, the more you're going to consume. So when you take your profit out and you set that aside, you take your taxes out, you set that aside. Realistically, you're left with that 300 bucks, and you have to exist within that within that guideline. Uh, if if your business can't operate under that model, then there's some things that you need to look at in your business. Maybe there's some things that you need to cut. Maybe there's, you know, obviously more sales is going to make the business more profitable. So maybe you need to do more as far as getting sales or maybe your, maybe your advertising budget's out of hand. Maybe you need to pull that back and, and go beat the street and knock doors and try some old traditional methods to, to get your sales up. But, uh, if your business can't operate under that, that profit first, uh, concept, then you really, really need to, to look at your business and readjust some things. So, Hey, I hope this helps everybody out. It's kind of a long tangent video, uh, just shooting the breeze with you guys. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, hopefully this was helpful to you guys. If you found it helpful, hit the thumbs up, uh, hit the subscribe button and, uh, we'll talk to you guys again. Have a great day. Bye.